Hey uh, everyone, Yasin here, welcome back. Today on the Derek's modded file we're looking at going back into the war and hopefully finding some new stuff and maybe also oh, finding the Dwimmer Lake, I guess, or the thing from the stars. I guess they might both be here this time around, looking at how this is. Uh, just says the Dwimmer Lake's here, but also has the icon for the thing of the stars, so that's a little odd. But we're going to be heading into here trying to level it up and see what just kind of fun things we can find. Maybe some more stuff from Bristle and Bone, I think it was called the mod. So let's see what happens. Uh, with it being a medium dungeon, we're going to bring a little more on the supply side. And actually a lot of medicinal herbs just so we can try to get as many curios as possible. And I want to bring a few of these just to test them out, and then we'll be on our way. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Alright, so, first things first, let's pull the drummer in closer to us, so we can kill him easier. Actually, I don't really think that matters with this group, but nonetheless... We're also going to try to stun the chopper so he can't hurt us. Oh, that's the wrong move. My bad. We are going to hit the drummer. Annihilated. And she can go at, I suppose, the chopper and just keep adding that blight to him now that he has it on him. That's going to rip him apart. of that lovely bleed with a heal. And he's going down on his turn, so we can get rid of the carrion eater. And there we go. Take what we can, move on. Just out of sheer stupid morbid curiosity. Okay, that was worth doing. For reason we brought the herbs. So let's do that. Uh light the supplicant so that since that has the best chance. Gonna keep up on the healing. Leading a sycophant. And taking out another sycophant. Let's kill this one. Continually onslaught. Destroy. Heal up. Oh. Might have to go in back into the courtyard again soon, looking at this. He's going to die on his next turn, so let's just uh, focus on that sycophant. Just pile as much damage as we can into that thing and it'll go down. Then really doesn't matter what we do with her, so I guess we'll de-stress a little bit. And because we can, I suppose, Snake Charmer's gloves again. And nothing else. Too great. Alright, let's get over here first because we need 90% of the rooms and I don't want to backtrack that all of that. Lovely. Well, good thing we brought some light too. Bypass guard. Can't be guard. 
I guess, up the crit chance on him. I used the wrong one. Oh well. And don't really want her in front, so we're just gonna do this. I don't want to return to the stars. You can't make me. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Oof. Light will tear him apart, though. I really don't like how he gains that 80% protection. Yeah, it doesn't really bypass that, so we're just gonna keep getting the dots on him. Five for three. We're gonna switch to this while we can. And then take out that with her. With Seems right to me. This is the other part that annoys me about that fight, is him curing all of his status ailments after the end of turn, so you can't build it up. I really don't like to think of the stars. It's not necessarily a hard fight, he just makes it takes so long unnecessarily. And it's a very, like, stressful fight because of it. Yeah, let's just keep stressing. So then that goes, I think that goes Prey Stalker's Hood. I mean, I guess that's alright. I don't really use one in stealth, but I could. And 20 shards is never bad. Use some of this. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. It'll be interesting to see if we also find the Dwimmer Lake in here. Almost missed that. That's a neat little background too. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I really do like some of these background arts. They are pretty cool. Alright, nothing too horrible there. I think we can deal with all of that. One down. Oh! Oh, that's ours. Okay, I got really scared there for a second. That trinket, like, scares me sometimes. Uh, since they've both gone already, I'm just gonna do this. Sword Spiderling dies. 
Wretched will almost die on its turn. Get rid of the bleed. Wretch dies. And swine dies. So don't think I need to kill the charm spiderling. Okay, <laughs> I was a little concerned about that. Foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. And the Dwimmer Lake. This one I'm a little concerned about because I don't necessarily know what he's about still. A decisive bubbling. Well struck. If we keep this up, it won't necessarily matter too much. Okay. Okay, he can heal himself. Forgot about that. We can blight him though. And the heal doesn't get rid of the debuffs. That makes him a lot more manageable. Okay, does that... That just horrors me. Okay. I'm not sure what to think about this guy yet, because part of me thinks he should be a scary boss, or mini boss, or whatever you want to say. And the other part of me is going, he hasn't done anything yet to, like, constitute fear. So, I don't know. Every time I fought him, I've just absolutely torn him a new one. And he has done nothing to me. Like, that was a zero damage fight. I think I actually came out of that with less stress, even though he put horror on me. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, that could be good for the succubus. What's this? Lensing crystal. I think she can use this. And then... Yeah, I'll just hang on to the Book of Intuition for now. I didn't notice there were like little meat hooks back there. Purchase. Spirits are lifted. And now, I think the only thing that could be made worse in this can't happen because I don't think I have vampires. I didn't notice this one either. So I don't think the fanatic can. Oh, I do. So the fanatic could come at us in this as well. I don't think I even fought on the normal file. Alright, we need invitations, so let's do this. And a stockpile of blood. We, we need to get that stockpile of blood going. Alright, take him down so he doesn't get away with the invitation. You little rat. Maybe this will do it. Ha ha ha. But he's gonna go down to Blight anyway, so we're gonna do this. 
Now he's gonna bleed out. Then we can do this, and we win. Give them no quarter. Confidence surges as Not that we needed to do any of that, but you know, feels good sometimes. Success. I uh for that. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Just pop the holy water. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's de-stress a little bit, I suppose. He's a thing she's really good at. And see if we can kill the spitter. Alright. Do this before I forget again. Ooh, nice scout. I think it's, uh... 120 disarm chains. Yes, we are taking that. I would have been very concerned if that missed. Waiting to be spent. Might as well get another one while we're at it. Okay, that's a person I didn't want to move. Y'all are gonna regret that one. Stun powder just because now. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Yes, to move her back, lighting them. I kill this little guy. Still gonna try to do something to him. But I still need three damage on the gatekeeper. Let's see if we can stun them. All right, then can't throw in dagger the one we want. Let's light that one. Quite honestly, just pass with the Plague Doctor. Do that again. And I think we're good. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Fifty whole gold. I stepped on the trap. <laughs> I was gonna click it and stepped on it. All right. Uh, let's take out the drummer. I have a little bit of a plan here. I can take them both out this next turn, I think, before they get another action. So then we can blight this one. We can blight them again. So dead, dead. We can then de-stress. Oh! Oh boy. I'm gonna be very upset if they die. That one's gonna die. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay. That worked out. I had three plans in my head that were hopefully gonna work. <laughs> a trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Use some of this to heal up because we're pretty close to the end. I suppose I could have used the holy water there, but I don't think any of this works on. Yeah. Well, 
No. All right. They can eat. There's this last one. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. And actually, we're gonna go up, get these two Kyrios. Maybe a third. I'm not gonna bother with that fight. Probably should have gone torchless for that, but oh well. And no scouting. I'm gonna do the firewood to de stress. Huddled so together. feasting, that gets rid of Hurtful some. And vulnerable. The Rats gallows and humor. Amaze. That one has diseases. That's slightly problematic. So we're just going to act like uh, we're probably going to get the event. The match is stuck. and we didn't. All right. A blazing star is born. But we did get that, which just for gigglies. Nope. All right. And that will be that. Seem a little less impossible. And more than enough gold to pay for the skills I bought there. That's always good. With cloak, probably gonna sell that, but that's okay. Two busts, three portraits, and a lot more crusts. Almost everyone hit level three there. Prismatic isolation. Debuff resistance, nice. You and the, the Shrieker matter. is here. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. So, since we can, I kind of want that prismatic thing. Let's lock that in. Let's de-stress a few people. Alright, and then we can almost use that group now. The Shrieker is level. Wow. I have a very stupid idea, and I'm not sure it's worthwhile, but I'm very tempted to try it anyway. Okay, this is gonna go very poorly. I, I know this from the bottom of my heart. Don't need the food. We're gonna take these. We're gonna take these. Take one of those. <laughs> and, uh. Hope I don't die. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm getting back. <laughs> I just know this is gonna be a bad idea. Alright, so holy water. Bandage, minor shard, and immediately go to healing herself. <laughs> Holy water. Uh, we're gonna try to stun him. <laughs> it worked. In that case, we're gonna bleed it. Nope. Okay, I get that. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right, uh, minor shard, inspiring cry to keep him de stress. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Alright, holy water, dog treat, minor shard. He's bleeding, so we're gonna mark him for Roth. Healing Roth, getting rid of that bleed. Minor shard, holy water. And let's re. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> that hurts. Oh man, this was a horrible idea. I, I just need it to fly away. That's all I need. Stunning it again if I can. Oh, I can't believe that worked. They have an accuracy down, that's great. Alright, bleeding it. Hook it. No, dang. Oh. Alright, alright. Marking again. Let's go for broke. 25 damage, we've almost got this. Oh no. That was too close. Alright, holy water. Gonna try for the stun again. Yeah. Alright, we're, we're going for the bleed after this. Come on. Oh, it's running away. We were actually pretty close to killing that. I am very surprised. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. I do not blame them after that. <laughs> Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. All right, let's see what I recovered. Oh, this is literally what we got: Callus Shrieker Talon, which I mean, seven percent crit is seven percent crit. I will take it. Corvid's Eye for accuracy on someone who doesn't need it. An 8% scouting chance. I mean, so all in all, that, that wasn't bad. I'll take it. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Interesting. A skilled Ronin of... Uh, Ronin? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, the Sunward Isles has traveled to the Hamlet. His wisdom of the sword is not something that should be disregarded. All idle lepers and crusaders gain one resolve level. And we can get another Lamia. Another Houndmaster might not be bad either. A man and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. Getting rid of mitocarditis, if that's how you pronounce that one. And he can go drink. He has earned it. Uh, I don't think anyone else had anything to... Oh wait, don't really want to spend that much gold right now though. So. I think that's where I'm going to end this one. Um, next time I'm definitely looking at going more into the Warrens, the Wheels, and the Cove. Just because I want to level them up more. However, I am probably going to go into the Courtyard soon just so I can get the Baron. I just don't know what team I want to take for that yet. Um, I have a few ideas, but they're kind of like pending in my head. So we'll see where that goes. Otherwise, that'll be it for this time. As always, thank you for watching. Wish you all well. See you next time and have a good one.